What does prenatal genetic screening do for me? All pregnant women have a small chance of having a baby with Down syndrome, trisomy 18, or neural tube defect. Prenatal screening can tell you if the chance of your baby having one of these conditions is increased. Most women who have prenatal screening will be told that their baby has a very low risk. We call that having a negative screen. Having a negative screen is 99.9% .9 accurate. That means that if you have a negative screen, the chance that your baby will have one of these conditions is less than one in a thousand. For approximately 5% of women, the screen will show an increased chance of having one of these conditions. We call that a positive screen. It does not mean that the baby has the condition, it means that the chance is increased. In this situation, diagnostic testing is available to determine for sure if the baby is affected or not. The diagnostic test for a pregnancy that has an increased chance of Down syndrome or trisomy 18 is an amniocentesis. When the screen shows an increased chance of open neural tube defect, the diagnostic test is a detailed ultrasound. Your healthcare provider can help you decide whether or not to have screening, but ultimately the decision is up to you. Tell me about Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a common genetic condition. Approximately one out of 700 babies has Down syndrome. We call it a genetic condition because it's caused by having an extra chromosome 21. Babies with Down syndrome have three copies of chromosome 21 instead of two. Because of this extra chromosome 21, babies with Down syndrome have mild to moderate intellectual disabilities and are at increased risk of certain medical conditions, such as having a heart defect or needing to wear glasses to correct vision. One cannot predict if the medical conditions will be mild or more severe. Adults with Down syndrome live into their 50s. Everyone has a chance of having a baby with Down syndrome, but studies have shown that that chance increases with mother's age. If you want to have more information about Down syndrome, you can visit our website or talk to your healthcare provider. Tell me about trisomy 18. Trisomy 18 is a condition that is much less common than Down syndrome. Only about one baby in 6,000 is born with this condition. Like Down syndrome, trisomy 18 is due to having an extra chromosome, but in this case, the babies have three chromosome 18. The chance of having a baby with trisomy 18 increases with the mother's age. Now, most pregnancies with this condition will be miscarried but some will go to term. Babies with this condition are born with very severe uh, malformation. Commonly, it affects their heart or it affects how their brain functions. They are weak and they don't grow well. And most babies with this condition will die within a few weeks of being born. Very few will celebrate their first birthday. And all of them will show very severe developmental delay. Tell me about open neural tube defects. A neural tube defect is a condition that affects one in a thousand babies. The chance of having this condition does not change with the mother's age. A neural tube defect is a malformation of either the brain or the spinal cord. If it's the spinal cord who did not form properly, we call it spina bifida. And this results in physical disabilities and in some children, intellectual disabilities. Life expectancy will depend on how serious the condition is. Now, when the neural tube defect affects the brain, we call it anencephaly. This is a very severe malformation, and these babies are either stillborn or will die shortly after birth. 